Taurus, welcome to your August 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and we're here in Wonderland together. Um, we're going to be using the tarot in Wonderland, and I etched the side in gold, and I think that they're really pretty. And then we're going to be using Wonderland in the tin, and also the Vintage Oracle. So that's really exciting. Before we get started, I did want to let you know that I do have private readings on sale. It's $20 for 40 minutes. Also, I'm offering a brand new service. I'm going to be doing Taurus couples, Taurus singles, and Taurus careers. So I'm going to be doing three individual readings, and I'm going to record them. And then they're pay per view. So they're $4.99 per view. So if you're interested in that, if you like, if this reading resonates with you and you want to know more about career, then you can email me. And for four dollars and ninety nine cents, I'll I'll send you the entire career reading, so we go more in depth with that. And that's a an alternative if you don't want to do a private reading. So in like a private reading, I say your name, um, and I talk directly to you. With these, it's going to be like my general readings where I'm talking to Taurus. All right, so what is the central theme of Taurus's reading? Intuition. Intuition. You should always follow your intuition because everybody is psychic. It's all about how you develop that. Just like everybody has abdominal muscles, but some people have a beer belly and some people have like a 12-pack abs because the people with the 12-pack abs chose to develop that, that muscle um, and the six-packs they didn't. So some people that, you know, have to go to psych psychics because they don't follow their intuition, that's because they didn't develop their intuition. They didn't develop their psychic abilities because it is a muscle and we are all psychic. And I just wanted to put in there before we get too deep into this, if you are typing in the chat and not watching the chat, I'm just getting into the reading, I'll do the chat at the very end because I am doing this live. All right, so we're doing the Romney spread where we examine your internal world versus your external world. So what's going on in Taurus's head? Three cards for what's going on in Taurus's head. Three cards for what's going on in Taurus's head. Two. All right. One more card for what's going on in Taurus's head. Okay. All right, so the first one, you're coming out of this like self-enclosed prison. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is, um, getting perspective, releasing yourself from the self-enclosed prison, um, freedom, a way out, self-acceptance. And then we have justice in the reverse. So this is Libra energy, and that was a uh, Gemini energy. So this is Libra energy, and this is Divorce, lawsuits, inequality, uh, feeling victimized, blaming others, arguments, being falsely accused. But I see you getting out of that, like, but that's that's the prison that you were in, worrying what other people thought of you, being falsely accused. It could have been a divorce, could have been a breakup, but you were in this self enclosed prison. But now you're releasing that mentally. Alright, and then we have the Nine of Cups. So this is the Wish card. This is Wishes Fulfilled. Um, this is hosting a pup party, showing off. This is being comfortable. This is being happy. So I see that you did actually come out of that and you're coming out on top and you're just not letting any of that bother you and you're just really happy right now. Alright, why is, and then we're going to use the little tarot in the ten to clarify. So why is the Eight of Swords here? And that just flew out. And it's because of the Queen of Oysters. So the Queen of Oysters is being financially secure. She is financial security. She's ambitious, hardworking. Uh, she's down to earth, 
practical, realistic. She's no nonsense, no frills about her. Um, she's prosperity. She's success. She has wealth. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? So justice is here because of the Knight of Hats in reverse. So whoever you are going through this breakup with, they were definitely a narcissist. There's, okay, so I do reversal. So there's 78 cards in the traditional tarot deck. 78 times 2 whenever you do reversals. Um, the Knight of Hats, the King of Hats, well, I'm sorry, would be the, the, Knight, the Knight of Cups. This is just a you know, a um, non-traditional, it's usually the cups, cups, swords, uh, wands, and pentacles. Um, so I'm just going to go by that. So the knight, the knight of cups in the reverse, the king of cups in the reverse, the emperor in the reverse, the king of wands in the reverse, those are the cards of narcissism. So there's four cards of narcissistic personality disorder with the emperor being the worst. Um, this is the knight of hats. He's an emotional manipulator. He, he plays on your emotions. And this could be a man or a woman, but this is a card of narcissistic personality disorder. So um, whoever you were going through this breakup with, it's being clarified by the Knight of Hats in reverse, which would be narcissistic personality disorder, which would be an emotional manipulator. All right, and then we have the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? I'm hard to okay. So the Nine of Cups is here because of the star. The star is the card of Aquarius. So this is relief from struggle. It's a time to heal. It's liberation, freedom, having nothing to hide. Um, this is coming into your identity. Being on center sta stage, you don't have to prove yourself anymore. You can now say, this is me. This is who I am. If you don't like it, there's the door. And that's what the star is all about. So you are the star of your own show. Now we're going to be examining Taurus's external world. So I need three cards for Taurus's external world, please. Three, okay. Oh, three, exactly. I love when that happens. It's awesome. Okay, so this is your family and home life. The first one we have is the Hermit Reversed. So this is the card of Virgo. And this is a major arcana card. So there's the major arcana. And arcana in Latin means secrets. So these are the major secrets of life. There's 20, uh, 22 major life events that you have to go to. It starts with the zero, the full, and ends with the world. Um, this is the hermit. And the hermit is number nine. And it's the card of Virgo. Uh, whenever the hermit reverses, it means that you need to get out and socialize. You've already learned your lessons, and you may feel powerless, you may feel lonely, you may be avoiding problems, you may feel like you're left out in the cold by family and friends, but you need to get out there and you need to socialize. All right, and then we have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups just means any water energy. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or it's just bringing those emotions. Could just be talking about the emotions. Pages are children or somebody who's immature and still developing a sense of self. So this is the page of cups and the page of cups is a student, a messenger. This could be your inner child calling out to you. Um, this is someone, someone who has very innocent, pure motives. Someone who could be very naive, overly emotional, but it's very well groomed who listens to their inner voice who listens to their intuition this is one of the most psychic cards in the tarot deck this is the card of psychic abilities because children usually are born more psychic 
and adult as they grow up they lose that so this is somebody who's highly highly psychic highly psychically aware um, this could be just telling you to cheer up a sad child in your family and home life as well but it can also mean that good news is on its way if you have a gut feeling follow it especially with having this intuition card um, it could be the early stages of love this is the beginning of intimacy All right, and then we have strength in the reverse so this is the card of Leo and right here we have some conflict within your family and home life because strength is a fire card Leo is a fire energy and fire is all about ambition and then we have the page of cups which is a water energy and water puts out fire and fire boils water so there's some definite conflict here between strength and the page of cups so strength is it could be referring to inner strength it could be referring to external strength it's purity of motives it's control over desires it's passion it's belief in yourself um, you may feel fear about something but you need to do it anyway this is courage and all courage comes from within you can't get ex um, courage externally you can only get courage internally um, this is the tough times that bring you closer um, tough times that you come come through with like these life life experiences that so you know some of my tough times I would never want to give up because they they're part of who I am and that's what strength in the reverse is all about so why is the hermit in reverse here why is the hermit in reverse here because of the Queen of Pepper Mills in the reverse, of course. Why would it be the Queen of Pepper Mills? The sexiest sexy lady. <laughs> She's a sexy sexy lady. Look at that butt. You can see right through, through her butt. Um, so we have the Queen of Pepper Mills in the reverse. So she's prone to temper tantrums. Um, she's very melodramatic she's controlling she doesn't like to help anybody she has low self-esteem she can be very nasty jealous manipulative um, very sarcastic like one of those people that make really cruel jokes and they're like i'm just kidding i'm just kidding and no they weren't kidding because they were just insulting you so that's why the hermit's in reverse here you need to get out and you need to socialize um, because in your home and family life there's somebody who's prone to temper tantrums there's somebody who's prone to just making your life very uncomfortable. If you remember in the movie, she liked, she had that little baby pig and she put the pepper all in its nose and the pig was like sneezing and Alice thought that it was a baby, but then she found out that it was a pig when she, she took it out of the house. And then we have the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? And that's only one of the many, many, many different interpretations of Alice in Wonderland. I've watched pretty much every Alice in Wonderland movie known to man because I'm just a really big fan. Um, I changed my hat because I, I realized I looked a little bit too much like a smurf. All right, so I have justice in the reverse. So justice came out before and it's coming out again. So this is a really strong sign that we're talking about a Libra or we're talking about a divorce. Uh, there's some sort of breakup here. There's some sort of injustice and it's coming, it's, it's affecting you internally in your mind and it's affecting you externally in your family and home life. This breakup, this injustice, this uh, divorce, if, if things going against you, being blamed, um, arguments, And it actually, it came up in the same row, the same row, um, the, it's, it's in like a perfect row, justice in reverse came up twice, in the same position on two different levels, like 
there's justice in the reverse, and then there's justice in the reverse. So that's happening presently. This injustice is happening like right now, presently. Wrong deck. So why is strength in the reverse here? Why is strength in the reverse here? Alright, so I have the three of hats in the reverse. So there could have been an affair, adultery, um, definitely a breakup. Alright, three cards for what's going on with Taurus's money. Three cards for what's going on with Taurus's money. Okay, two more cards for what's going on with Taurus's money. Right. One more card for what's going on with Taurus's money. Perfect. Okay, so I have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse is being on edge, defensive, hesitant. You're hesitant to make purchases or do investments. You're being paranoid financially. Then we have the seven of wands and this is a wands or fire energy. So right now we have all this ambition, aggression, um, financially. And then we have the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is betrayal, deceit. People are being sneaky, lying. This could actually, um, this is like many challenges thrown your way. Um, you may feel you're struggling to stay on top. You may have taken on too much. You may have to defend your reputation. Um, if you feel like people are turning on you, um, you're under like attack, a constant state of attack. You feel like you're being blamed for everything. All right, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So this isn't good for your money. Uh, so the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who's money mad, someone who's self-centered, someone who is poor, uh, poor investments. This is bad investments. This is get-rich-quick scheme. So I don't see like August the first through the fifteenth money being very good. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Right, the Nine of Wands is here because of the Five, the five of uh, Pepper Mills in the reverse. So there's conflict avoidance. You're avoiding conflict. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah. And we're getting like, this is all fire energy. And I'm using two different decks. Because pepper mills are the same as wands. So whenever I say pepper mills, it's also wands. Uh, so the seven of wands is being clarified by the two of wands. So the two of wands is decisions about movement. Decisions about a course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, something's holding you back from movement. Okay, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles is here because of the Four of Hats in the upright. Um, so this is being moody, depressed, apathetic, not seeing what you have in front of you. Um, so you're very depressed about your money. All right, three cards of advice for Taurus. Three cards of advice for Taurus, please. Three cards of advice for Taurus. Okay. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> the world. One more card. The Magician reversed. Alright, so the first card that we have is the Five of Pentacles. 
And the five of pentacles is financial or material loss. There could be scandal, a lost job, asking for help, being thrown out in the cold. Uh, it could be a loneliness in a relationship, letting money define you. Um, it could also be like a single parent. And then we have the world. And the world, it begins, it, it's, it ends the major arcana. So it begins with the fool. And the fool is like the kindergartner going to school. And the world is being the senior and graduating. This is parties, success, celebration. This is lasting success. This is attainment, awards, coming full circle. And then we have the magician reverse. So this is lack of self-discipline, lack of qualification, not having the right resources, um, a trickster, a liar, a charlatan, a thief, a bully, a know-it-all, um, someone who's impatient, someone who has a lack of confidence, someone who shows off all the time, someone who has communication problems. Someone who could be verbally abusive. So why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? All right, because of the magician in the reverse. Because of being a showed off. So people don't like you. You're being left out in the cold. Because of a lack of qualifications, because of showing off, because of being verbally abusive, because of being a bully, because of being a liar, because of being a trickster. And that came out twice, so that's really, really a strong energy that's coming forward. So why is the world here? Why is the world here? Because of the king of hats. So the world's here because of the king of hats. Who's the king of hats? The king of hats is deep wisdom. He's loving. He's friendly. He disciplines his emotions. He's affectionate. He's a counselor. He's a doctor. He, he's a guru. He could be a ladies man. He could be a little bit of a womanizer at times. Um, he could be a psycho psychiatrist. Um, he gives people good advice. He provides a shoulder to cry on. Um, he tries to keep everyone calm. He's secretive. Don't expose your true feelings whenever this card comes out. In a career, he has this need to help those that are emotionally damaged. And he needs a creative outlet. Why is the magician in the reverse here? Why is the magician in the reverse here? The six of cups in the upright. Childhood memories, nostalgia, missing someone, hankering over the past. So what's going on with Taurus's um, romantic and social life? Three cards for Taurus's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Taurus's romantic and social life, please. Three, exactly. I love when that happens. All right, so the first one we have is the Empress. And the Empress is a domestic goddess. She's creative, she's productive, she's abundant, she means pregnancy, literally. Um, but this could be like an incubation period. So things are incubating, something beautiful is growing, but it's just like this incubation period. It needs time to completely um, come full circle. So she's like an incubation period. And then we have the Knight of Swords. 
and he's in the reverse. So when the Knight of Swords reverses, this is someone who's dramatic, someone who's like a rebel. Um, some This could be like confusion, chaos, being out of control, someone who's rude, hurtful words, manipulation, um, potentially criminal, um, looking for a fight, leading the way to danger. And there's balancing, there's like a balancing act. We have the king of wands and the upright. So this is a natural born leader. This is an entrepreneur. This is a time to take control of your life. Thinking big. Why is the Empress here? The Empress is here because, and we have the card of Gemini. We have the lovers, which is a major arcana card. This is number six, and six is all about growth. And the lovers means like any type of relationship. This is self-love, the magic of falling in love, sexual development, sexual attraction, um, learning how to decide, examining both sides of a situation. It could mean that somebody's interested in you. And it could be a Virgo, because the Empress I always see as either a Virgo or a Capricorn. It could also be a Libra. Because the Empress is ruled by Venus, and Venus rules Libra, but it's also an Earth sign. So I always see it as, as Virgo energy. Um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Taurus is ruled by Venus, and it's an Earth sign. So it could be a Taurus. But then you're a Taurus. <laughs> you're a Taurus. So it could just be talking about you. So this is self-love. Okay, so the Knight of Swords in the reverse, why is that here? Alright, because of the ten, or I'm sorry, the five of oysters in the reverse. So the five of oysters in the reverse is recovering recovering from a relationship loss, recovering from financial loss. See that tear in his eye? He's crying, but in the reverse, he's recovering. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? All right, because of the five, six, seven, the eight of oysters in the upright, um, so this is a strong, solid commitment, ongoing hard work, being highly skilled. This is success. This is exactly where you need to be. And this is Virgo energy. All right, Taurus's career. Three cards for Taurus's career, please. Three cards for Taurus's career. One more card for Taurus's group. Two. One more card for Taurus's group. Three. The first one is there could be a narcissist in your midst. I have the King of Cups in the reverse. So this is one of the cards of narcissism. There could be like narcissistic personality disorder in your in your workplace. Um, this is an emotional manipulator. The King of Cups in the reverse, he is an emotional man manipulator. We have the Tower. So this is sudden change, destruction. Um, it could be brutal, unexpected. It's tragedy, it's trauma. Secrets are being revealed and just like mental overload. If nothing else, the tower means suddenly. Something suddenly happens. 
And then we have the moon in reverse, which is also emotional manipulation. We have the walrus and we have the carpenter and they're leading all these little oysters to the sea and all the little oysters are like, oh, we love you. You're so nice. But no, they're going to eat them. That's why they're leading them to the sea is to eat them. The, the moon is all about secrets. And this is um, like nightmares. This is um, imagination running wild. This is not using your intuition. <clears throat> not using your intuition. Um, this is the card of Pisces or Cancer. Um, this is buried memories, addictions. So why is the King of Cups here? Because of the sun, it, the sun is the part of Leo. The sun is the card of Leo. So nothing can hide in the sun. The sun illuminates all of the shadows and all the shadows are now brought to light. So all secrets are revealed under the sun. The sun has risen. It's a new day. It sheds light. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. This is rewards. The dark days are over. Live for the moment. Now this is what I really want to see. So why is the tower here? Get all these cards. They all fell on the floor and they're all like messy. Okay, so why is the tower here? One card for why the tower is here, please. One card for why the tower is here, please. The Ten of Hats. So we have the sun card first, which is all about joy and happiness, um, over top of the king of cups. And there's conflict there because the sun is fire and the king of cups is water. The king of cups is emotional and the sun is ambitious. So the narcissist is emotional. The sun is all ambitious. And they're conflicting with each other. And now we have conflict again because the tower is also a fire card. And it's being clarified by a water card. Which is joy, happiness. So something's going to happen suddenly. It's going to change the dynamics, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good because the sun is good. The Ten of Cups is like the best card that you can get. That's joy, happiness, marriage, domestic bliss, the fairy tale, an emotionally successful outcome. So whatever's happening suddenly, it could have to do with a Cancer or a Pisces person. some sort of secrets coming to light and it's going to happen suddenly and this person is very like in your career it's, they're very self-centered they don't think about anyone but themselves but this is a good thing this is going to bring about joy happy it's going to be an emotionally successful outcome so why is the moon here why is the moon here all right the queen of hats and the Queen of Hats is Cancer. So this is a Cancer person. Um, so the Queen of Hats is emotional, loving. She's sensitive. She's a healer. She's pretty. She follows her heart. She goes with the flow. She, she meditates a lot. Um, she likes to take trips to water. She develops her psychic abilities. She is a peacemaker. She's highly artistic and imaginative. 
Um, in careers, she means many options and a need for a creative outlet. But she's clarifying the moon, and she's Cancer, and the moon can be Cancer or Pisces. So we could be definitely talking about a Cancer person. Is there any other advice for Taurus? Any other advice for Taurus? Yeah, everyone sees the tower as just bad, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It just means something suddenly is going to happen. So trust. You need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. That's your advice. Well, Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I just want to remind you, $20 private readings for the rest of the summer. Um, if you just want um, an extended version of this reading, if you want singles, couple, uh, singles, couples, or career, email me. They're $4.99. So that's a bargain. Um, I'm going to be looking at the chat now because I did do this one live. I did Gemini this one and I'm going to do Aries live just to see how it pans out. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I, I just came up with the idea tonight because I kept procrastinating. <laughs> I didn't want to do my makeup to be honest and I didn't do my makeup. I'm actually not wearing any makeup right now. Um, so let me see. So I have uh, Keisha and Keisha says hello. Hi Keisha. Thank you for joining me. And then I have Ori Ra, and you say hi. Hi, Ori, Ori Ra. Um, again, I'm so, I'm so sorry that I didn't, um, you know, respond during. I just kind of wanted to get into the reading. So thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful night.